In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a website using Google Sites. So let's get started. First, just open a browser and then search for sites.google.com. So you'll have to search for this and ensure that you've signed in with your Google account. Now we've reached Google Sites and we have two options. So we can either use the template and edit that to create our website or else we can create one from scratch. So I'll quickly show you the templates. You can just click on template gallery that's over here and you can just scroll through these. They have a lot of templates based on what website you want to make. But in this video, I'll create one from scratch. So I'll click on blank site that's over here. And now we've reached the page from where we can create our site. So I'll quickly show you this page. Over here is your main site. And on the right are the three tabs which are important. And on top you have settings. So now I'll explain each one in detail. So first, let's start by adding a title and logo to our page. So here there's a text box saying title. And now we can type whatever we want as our title. And on top you can see the various formatting options which they have. So you can change the font, font size, you can go through all of these. After that, I'll show you how to change the background image. So currently, it's the default one. But if I want to change it, I can click on image, which is over here on the left. And then I can select some images from online, or I can upload some from my PC. Select whichever one you like and click on insert. After that, we need to add the title and logo on top as well. So here you'll find an option saying enter site name. Again, just enter the name and then click on add logo that's here to add a logo. Then the same way, you can either upload or select one. This time I'll click on upload and here I've added my logo to my website. So this is the first step, just adding the title, logo and background image. And now we can actually start building onto this. So the next thing we need to decide is the theme of our website. For that, click on themes. It's the third page that's here. And over here, they have some default Google themes so if you scroll down, these are the options or else you can import some. But for now, I'll just select one default one. You should just click on it and then you can change the colors and font style if you want. And now this is done as well. Now the next thing we have to do is add pages to our website. So you'll first need an outline in your mind. You'll need to know which pages you'll want. For example, blog, about me, contact us. These are the various pages. So to add them, just click on pages. That's the second option over here. And as of now, we only have a home page, but now we can add more by clicking on the plus button that's at the bottom. So now I'll just click on new page and we can add one more page. Now, as you can see, the page videos has come here. And even in the menu, there are two options, home and videos. The same way we can keep adding pages to our website. So I'll quickly add some more. So now I've added these four pages and we have some options related to them. First, we can change the order by just long pressing and rearranging them. And as you can see, the order has changed over here in the menu. After that, if you click on the three dots next to a page, here you'll see the various options, such as adding a sub page, hiding this page from navigation, deleting this page entirely. You can go through these. So I'll show you how to add a sub page. So if I want to add a sub page to videos, I'll just click on this and I'll click on done. So now, as you can see, an arrow has come next to videos over here. And if you hover the mouse over it, you can select Google videos and it'll take you to that page. So the same way you can keep adding pages and sub pages, which you'll need for your website. Now that we're done adding all the pages, which we require, the next thing we have to do is design each page. And this is really simple. If you just go to the insert tab, that's here. Here, you have all of the options to add content to the page. So the first thing which I do is add all the different sections which I want. So how it works is that you can just drag each of these onto your page and then fill them up. So let's say I want this content block that's here. I can just drag it and it's created a section. The same way you can go through all of these and if you like something, you can just drag it onto your page. So for now, I'll show you how to add text and images to your page. So on top, there's an option called text box. Just select that. And as you can see, a text box has come here. So here you can type anything that you want. And again, you can change the formatting of this. The same way to add an image, just select image 
that's on the top right and again we can either upload or select one so for now to give an example i've just added my logo and as you can see our page has three sections now then we can also rearrange the sections so if i want this on top i can just long click on this where these dots are and drag it above and as you can see it's now come on top so this is basically what you have to do to your page i'll quickly give an overview of the different things that you can add so i showed you how to add a text box or an image after that content blocks is like this over here you can have an image and on the right some text describing that image then here there are various options like an image carousel a button divider and if you want to add one just click on it and as you can see this divider has come here so the same way just go through this and add everything which you want for that page then the last part of a page is the footer so if you scroll down you'll find an option called add footer and if you click on this then here we can create a footer so i've just added this text for now and basically this will reflect on every other page of the website so usually people add social media links to the footer so then at the end of every page people can find the links to their social media pages and i've made a detailed video on how to do this so you can check it out on the top right of the screen so this is basically how to design a page it's all based on drag and drop and you'll have all of the options in the insert tab that's here and if you want to preview of your website you can click on this button that's here and now you can get a preview this is how to look to everyone else on top you can see the menu it's exactly what we had created and then you can also change the device so here i can see how it looks on the phone and they also have an option for a tablet so now once you're done editing all the pages there are a few settings which you should go through before publishing the site just click on the settings button that's here then the first option is navigation so here we can decide how we want the menu we have two options if we want it on top as it is right now or we can have it on the side and now as you can see it's gone from the top and it's come to the left then we can change the color as well if we want after that brand images so we've already added our logo but we can add a favicon as well so a favicon is basically the icon which is seen on your website's tab when it's open so this is the favicon for google sites so the same way you can just insert your logo over here after that you can connect your website to a custom domain if you have one and i've made a detailed video on this so you can check that out as well and the last option is an announcement banner so this is basically a pop up which everyone will see when they open your website so these are all of the settings and the only thing left to do is publishing this website so to do this click on publish that's on the top right over here after that we can enter a custom url as long as it's available so this is available then you can decide who can view this site so currently anyone can but you can click on manage to change this and then you can decide if you want your website to come in search results so if you don't want it to then just select this box and click on publish and now it's published so now just click on this button to get the link of the published site so now i can just copy this and if i go to a new tab and open it as you can see our website has come here so this is basically how it works and if you want to know 10 google sites tips and tricks you can check out this video over here that's it for today goodbye